Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen along with Ken Jeffries and the insane Daryl Wayne. Our guest is Joshua P. Warren, uh, the author of Use the Force. By the way, Joshua is also uh, the director of the Wishing Machine Project, helping thousands of people around the globe improve their lives by becoming Jedis. I mean, that's, that's it. Uh, we were talking about violence, and we talked about real violence, watching San Bernardino or Paris. What about watching, you know, TV shows like... Uh, uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking uh, Bad. Or Fargo. Fargo. That's. I mean, we've been watching Fargo, and I watch it, and I go, oh, my God, how do you go to sleep after watching that? Can you respond to that, Joshua? Sure. Well, you know, I think when it comes to that kind of scripted storytelling, it really depends on how it affects the individual. Uh, I mean, for example, um, you know, I myself, I certainly enjoy like Quentin Tarantino movies or Robert Rodriguez films, and it doesn't really affect me to watch those things in a, in a, a powerfully negative way, because for one thing, I'm a writer, and so I'm probably better than a lot of people at being able to separate fact from fiction in my mind. I know that's a lot more difficult for some people than others. Well, and what I would say that uh, if you watch that kind of thing and it's making you feel bad, well, then you shouldn't do it. But me, on the other hand, I can usually watch that kind of stuff if I choose to, and it doesn't have a negative impact on my life. So it depends on how it's affecting you individually. Gotcha. It's, Vince Gilligan, in an interview, said that what, is a, what he tried to accomplish with Breaking Bad is taking characters, nice people that you like, and turning them very, very bad, but you still like them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you know, even look at the Star Wars movies. I mean, they are violent films. I mean, um, you're seeing people get their, their head hacked off or, or their bodies chopped in half. And, uh, you know, and, and of course, even even the good guys in, in Star Wars are, are, are killing the bad guys. So, you know, it's, it's not a that matter doesn't, of... That doesn't of seem... Sort of, that doesn't seem to bother me as much as just when the blood and the guts just roll. You see a body, the eyes are open, there's a big gash on the on the neck, and you see the blood pooling next to the body. Yeah. yeah. I also, on the yeah. other hand, don't like watching somebody throw up or go into the bathroom. What about it, the police procedurals that are on television? Our favorite shows for my wife and I, for instance, uh, uh, Law & Order SVU, yeah. uh, where yeah. they show a lot of you know, bodies on the table, uh, NCIS. But you don't see you know, them. It, it, but you it, do see them cut up. Yeah, I mean, you, you do. do see them cut up. Or uh, Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy, right. right. Grey's Anatomy. And uh, where they have to be now, you know, they, they go for realism. And uh, you were talking about movies. Also, the new Quentin Tarantino movie opens up uh, very soon, too. Right. Which is, I'm guessing, I haven't seen it, but uh, I'm guessing full of, probably full of blood and guts. So, Joshua, yeah. with all these movies, and, and you've, you've uh, protected yourself with the force as a writer. Are there guidelines within the use the force to protect oneself from the negativity that we see in the real world that we can also use to uh, uh, mitigate the uh, the fake violence in our world as well? Oh, absolutely. One of the things that I, I point out in the book is that um, you must truly grasp the fact that it doesn't matter how big and complex the world may or may not be, the world is for you between your ears. It's all in there. I mean, that's all that you know about reality. So uh, if there may be a planet somewhere out there made of cotton candy with unicorns flying around, but if I don't know it exists, uh, it's not a part of my reality. And so uh, whether something is, is fiction or nonfiction, um, if, if it's affecting you mentally in a way that is weakening you, then you need to combat it. Now, when it comes to going through the process and, and preparing the mind is the first step in the book. You do this before you even start using the force actively. You want to go through and, and face very realistically all the things that are, are plaguing you in your own memory bank, because even if you start avoiding things that are negative as much as possible as you try to strengthen your, your biofield, uh, you have all these memories of things that have happened to you that made you feel victimized. 
Gotcha. And hey, listen, we are out of time. It, time has flown by, uh, Joshua. Good luck with the book. And, uh, uh, you know, it's perfect timing. The Force, uh, use the Force and and the new Star Wars. I, I Brilliant, even though the universe did it for you. So, well, thank you so much. It's, you, uh, I'm, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you couldn't. Uh, Joshua P. Warren, our guest. And if you want information, we have a picture of Josh uh, on our website, as well as a link to the book, Use the Force. Well, that wraps up today's show. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, Ken, for coming in. Thank you, as always, uh, the insane Daryl Wayne. I'm Mark Allen. I wish you a happy week, a good week, and most importantly, a healthy week. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents, or just have fun. Find out about the advertising opportunities with Late Night Health. Call us at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at latenighthealth.com. That's info at latenighthealth.com. Join Late Night Health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care. Call now at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308.